with a nice little brown here. I've been uh, using hard bodies all morning. Um, uh, sorry, blade spinners all morning, and I've been having had a couple of hookups and lost them. Had some follows, nothing. You know, just happened to see this trout surface feeding, so I flicked a hard body on. No, uh, no sooner hit the water, and it uh, went to, and he took it. And, uh, I put a little um, yagiri on, a little diver yagiri on. He's a nice fish, but about just on 400 grams. I will net him and let him go. Alright, he's in the netty now, he's ready to go. Get him out of there. Oh, come on, fella. There you go. Come on. There we go. Come on. He's up. <laughs> yeah, he's just on a bit of glassy water this morning here. And uh, yeah, he's probably about um, 20 metres up ahead of me. Just yeah, hit the surface and bang, we got him. First one of the day. It's taken uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Just over, or just under an hour and 20 minutes to catch him. So it's always nice to get one in the net. Tell you what, life doesn't get any better than this. And you uh, can come here, beautiful weather today, and uh, beautiful flat water, it's clear. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you catch, I'm catching the odd fish here and there, but um, yeah, it's just lovely being in a river. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, I just um, caught and landed this beautiful big brown here. He'd be, uh, I just weighed him actually, and he um, went 1.1 kilos. And uh, I think I've got him on this, uh, on the little um, Yaguri, Yaguri hard body lure there. And it was just a cast up into that, uh, there's a little bit of the uh, river divides here and it comes into one at the top of this headwater. And uh, yeah, it was just a cast up there right where the headwater is and a bit of ripple on the water. And yeah, that's where he took it. So I'm going to get him out and let the big fella go. It's a beautiful fish. I didn't want to film him while I, was, <laughs> I had him on, but just have a look at the size of that. He's an absolute gem. Beautiful fish. Massive one, yeah, I love it. Now we're going to let him go. And he should be pretty right. There he goes, he's on his way. Very good. Lovely fish. <laughs> Picked up his little brown on the hard body. I'd, um, I just fished right up through all that fast water down there. No sign of a trout. So. I don't care if he jumps off this little fella. I'll just keep him in the water there. He's only lipped. Yeah, well, I just had a cast up there and this, uh, where this water's running around. There's a big flat water in the middle, middle of it here. And uh, yeah, just brought the lure back down through there and he um, picked it up in there. Uh, there's some nice water up further, so hopefully we'll um, get a fish or two up in there as well. Yeah, he's all good, he's back in the water there. And, uh, yeah, no worries about that fish, fine. Well, I've fished that whole length of the river you can see there. For this one, uh, Hit and miss, a couple of follows. They've sort of gone off the hard body, so I've um, come back to a blade spinner now. A little hand, just a little hand painted one, and I've just had one follow on that. So I'm going to get out now and head up and uh, into some real fast water. See how we go up in there. No, I've just took another little brown at last. It's only the fourth one. I've lost one a while ago. You know, I just let it. He just got off too, so it doesn't matter. It's only a little fellow that I just flicked into that uh, little bit of water in that shaded area and that's where he was. So, uh, it's been pretty pretty dead along here. I think there's a lot of a lot of um, 
flattened grass in areas along the uh, when I walked up along the, the um, paddock here to get back in the river so I'd say it's had a fair hammering plus they had the um, state fly fishing championships up here uh, last weekend too so yeah shame but uh, four for the day is not too bad I suppose Another little brown. I've lost the, had a couple more hits from this as we just got this little fella here. It's the cast up under the bridge on that left hand side of the river bank there in the flat water and got this yeah, pick this little fella up. Only so, bub, eight inches long, we'll let him go, get him off now. Oh, just a quick report on how the day went. It was um, pretty average, pretty average. That's just probably how you could best explain it. Started off, hooked, hooked a trout earlier on on the, on the um, Maps Agliopuria. Um, had another little hit and a miss and a couple of follows. It was as dead as a doornail until I, I put on a little hard body, little diver Yaguri. And, um, I got a trout only because I saw the trout surface feeding and I flicked up and no sooner had that hit the water, bang! Uh, yeah, the trout took it. Uh, that was a, just upon a 400 gram fish and then the, ne uh, the top end of that pool um, that's where I got a kilo fish. Well, it was one, one, one kilo and um, 50 grams actually. That was a nice solid fish which was put back in the water and then after that uh, it just went dead again. And um, yeah. I caught one. I caught one more little um, little brown on the diary, Yaguri, and then I went to the hand painted lures and got uh, two more little trout on that, and had a uh, yeah hooked and lost one other, and a couple of fellows, little light hit and misses, and yeah, and then I was nearly back in the car, so just over three hours in the river for five fish and one and a half kilometres of rivers. Um, pretty standard in my books anyway so I did want to go to another river day but it's running too high so hopefully it's dropped and I can get there tomorrow so yeah till next time tight lines